guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about the most essential vitamins to have during this time. I wanna focus on actually building up the immune system and letting you guys know which vitamins are best for building up your immune system, fighting off um, anything that may try to attack your immune system. If you have a strong immune system, um, you can pretty much get through a lot of things. I was asked in my um, live video that I did to do a video on this and I thought that it was very necessary. So let's go ahead and get started. So you guys know that I have already done a vitamin video which you can check out right here. But these vitamins, like I said, are gonna be focused mainly on immune system. Well, all of them are gonna be focused on immune system. Right, so the first vitamin I want to mention is elderberry. So when it comes to elderberry, it's a very important vitamin mainly because it does help to build up the immune system. So if you guys are not familiar, elderberry is packed with antioxidants. It helps to tame inflammation, which I learned in my health coaching um, training that inflammation is the underlying cause of pretty much every disease in the body. So inflammation is very important to like keep under control and keep down because it can lead to a lot more toxicity within the body. A lot of times when people are sick with a common cold or even the flu, they would sometimes take elderberry and make it into a actual like medicine. So a lot of times medicines have elderberry in them to like help boost up the immune system and get your body back to where it's supposed to be. So definitely a really good herb to have on hand. You can either get the elderberry um, herb, but from my knowledge, they're literally sold out of the actual like herb, um, or you can, uh, well fruit, or you can actually just buy it in the syrup form like I did, um, and I did get it from Gaia Herbs. To me, it tastes like grapes. Like I just think that it's so good, I put it in my water. So Naraya, on the other hand, she's like, no, that looks nasty, I don't wanna drink that. So for her, I got her these. This works for her, these are pretty much, um, these are gummy elderberry immune system support vitamins and they're for children and she takes them every day and she has no problem with it. So the next herb or vitamin that I want to mention is hibiscus. Now this is hibiscus powder, um, which is the same thing because they literally um, use just hibiscus in this. Make sure that you are getting um, hibiscus that is real and you're getting one that is organic. When it comes to herbs, you do wanna get organic herbs. Um, to my opinion, I feel like that that's important because you're gonna be either drinking this or you know putting it into a tea and this stuff is going to go straight to your bloodstream. So making sure that it's organic is actually super important. Um, so I have this here, um, Bayon Botanicas. And so the thing about hibiscus powder is it's good for many things, but the thing that draws it draws me to it the most when it comes to immune system support is the fact that it helps the liver. And if you guys are not familiar, the liver, the colon, and the kidneys actually are very important when it comes to eliminating toxic waste when it comes to your actual body. So keeping your liver healthy at this time and just making sure that you are pretty much keeping everything moving is super important. So that's why I added hibiscus to this video. And if you are not familiar, you can literally mix hibiscus in your water, in your tea, um, any way that you can pretty much just get it down. It doesn't really have a strong taste, but it does stain the color of hibiscus of hibiscus is very strong and it can stain things. The only thing is you want to like strain it in because you don't want for like if you have a powder form for it to leave like clumps in the water. I also love the fact that hibiscus helps to boost the metabolism and also fights off free radicals. So this is pretty much good for everything, even when it comes to hair growth. So you can use it for so many different things, even skincare. Um, if you guys like for me to make like a DIY or a video just on hibiscus, 
let me know down below or thumbs up this video because I can definitely do that for you. Okay, so the next vitamin I am moving on to is the one daily vitamin for women and then the um, woman's multivitamin. So I've been taking women's multivitamin for about a year now. Now this brand, um, My Can Organics by Garden of Life is my favorite because they use very pure ingredients. So when it comes to My Can Organics multi, women's multivitamin, it has literally everything in here. But let me just read off some of the key um, ingredients that stand out most to me. First of all, I wanna mention that there's no sugar in this vitamin i did mention this in my last vitamin video but this is how much this vitamin has in it um, that it can pretty much cover all bases so if you don't want to buy every single thing in this video this right here the um, my kind organic woman multi vitamin is probably the best thing to get so this vitamin does have a lot of greens in it as well, but you can't really taste the greens you're more so tasting like the fruity taste i will not lie to you I personally don't like the taste of the gummies, but I would rather take the gummies than take these big pills because these big pills, I actually choke on them sometimes. So I actually do recommend the gummies. Um, and some of the ingredients that stand out to me is that it has blackberry in it. It also has blueberries in it. Um, I like berries because they have a, they're packed with antioxidants. Also has tomatoes, strawberries, cherries, green peppers, Brussels sprouts, um, ginger, which is absolutely amazing for stomach health. It also has um, kale leaf in here as well, cucumber, and it also has morango, holy basil leaf. So it also has a lot of superfoods in here as well. Also has purple carrot juice in here, which is amazing because I don't know if you guys know, but carrots are not originally orange, they're actually purple. So the fact that they took the time to get purple carrots, I love that. And for the coating of the vitamins, they use sunflower seed oil, which is amazing because they're not using any type of artificial coating. Sometimes on vitamins, they have artificial coating on the vitamins, so this brand doesn't do that. And all of those vitamins and herbs that I mentioned are packed with antioxidants and packed with things that are gonna help boost up your immune system. So if you are not into gummies and you would rather take a pill form, you could take the one daily women's um, vitamin. So this is gonna be for vaginal health, digestive system, and also the immune system. So basically this vitamin covers like all bases for women. So I'm not gonna be able to do this video without mentioning the fact that Vitamin C is absolutely so important. So I have vitamin C here. Vitamin C gummies for both me and Naraya. So when it comes to vitamin C, there's a lot of things that is good about this. Now, I did not get this from a brand that I use all the time, um, but I will say that these are pretty, this is a pretty good brand. It is gluten-free, non-GMO, and vegan. I had to get this off of Amazon because I got this around the time when everyone was buying up the vitamin C. So this also has rose hips in it. Um, so they did add more to this vitamin, but when it comes to vitamin C, it is absolutely amazing for boosting the immune system. Also good for keeping your blood pressure down. A lot of people don't know that, that vitamin C is good for keeping the blood pressure down um, if you take enough of it. I know right now vitamin C is pretty hard to find. If you cannot find vitamin C, then you can get just oranges and cut them up and eat them each morning. Last thing I wanna mention about vitamin C is so good for preventing iron deficiency from being like overwhelming. It's kind of just like slows it down a little bit. I mentioned that I had some vitamins for Naraya as well, so I wanted to mention this vitamin in case you guys have children. So this is the My Kind um, gummies for kids, and this is pretty much what the women's vitamin is, but it's made for children, and it also has a organic cherry flavor to it. Um, Naraya says that it's not that good, but it's not bad as well, so 
If you have kids and you want to like fool them and act like this is candy, then you can do that. But my daughter's 10 years old, so she's gonna know. Um, so she, but she likes it. She takes the vitamins every single morning. They, it looks like they took out a little bit, but it does have celery, cucumber, kale, raspberry, um, onions in here. It has garlic in here, which is really good. They have ginger root in here. They have cherries, blackberries, strawberries. Um, spinach, carrots, so they do have, I see in this one, they do have a lot of vegetables and just a little bit of um, fruit here and there. And then as far as um, the juices that are in here, they, they do have a lot of fruit juices. And again, they do use um, sunflower seed oil for the coating, so you don't have to worry about getting anything that has an artificial uh, coating on the vitamin. Okay, so this next vitamin or herb I want to mention is black walnut and wormwood. Now, this is a combination herb that I got from my health food store and it has black walnut and wormwood in it. But if you cannot find them both mixed together, then I do recommend getting wormwood. The reason why I stick to this vitamin and herb so much is because it does help with keeping away parasites. Parasites can attack the immune system and attack your stomach in general and make it to where your life is <laughs> pretty miserable because you're always hungry and anybody who knows anything about parasites know that it's just not a good thing. So during this time um, where we are needing to keep our immune system high and when we are needing to have a pretty healthy gut, I would say to do like the cleanup, getting wormwood would be a good idea. I wanted to mention the fact that wormwood is really good for um, fighting off inflammation. So if you guys see a trend here, I like to get vitamins that have um, some, type of, some type of benefit to inflammation because like I said, I feel as though inflammation is the groundwork of a lot of sicknesses that we have today. Next thing I wanted to mention was echinacea. So here I have the golden echinacea, but you can just get regular echinacea. And I absolutely love echinacea for fighting off any type of bacteria or any type of infection. So echinacea can work for uh, many things. I have the golden echinacea, but I'm not gonna lie, I actually like regular echinacea better. It's absolutely amazing for making sure that your infections are just like completely fall off. Um, I did go to an herbalist one time when I had an infection and he told me to drink um, echinacea tea for don't take my diagnosis this is just what he told me i think it was for 14 days so i had to take it for seven days and then see if it cleared up which it did and then i had to take it for seven more days and it um completely went away so that was just what i was told to do um and it was such a long time ago but definitely um since that since that encounter with echinacea, I have always kept it in my house. So I'm, this is one of the herbs that I keep in my house all the time. I had this even before this happened. Um, so I definitely always keep that herb in my house. I always keep wormwood wood in my house. And I literally always have um, woman's multivitamin. So another thing I wanted to mention is you definitely want to make sure that you are drinking teas during this time. Um, teas, to me, they help you to calm down. Not only that, but a lot of times you can hide your herbs in your tea by adding in honey. And a lot of times you can just get really good teas. So if you are not wanting to make your tea from scratch and go and buy um, a bunch of herbs or something like that, I have a tea that I'm gonna recommend to you guys. So I have all this stuff linked down in the description box, but I wanted to mention this because I feel like their teas are so good and they come from Whole Foods. Um, so my favorite is the lavender of this kind, but this one here is the Tropical Honey Bust. So, oh my gosh, teas are so good. Um, as long as you don't like pack them with sugars and stuff like that, just drink straight herbal teas. And like I said, if you don't wanna buy them yourself, this brand right here is really good. So guys, I also wanted to mention, when you are trying to build your immune system up, make sure that you try to stay low of stress. I know that so many people have so many things going on and it's so many different scenarios for many different people, but 
it's very important to try to stay peace at peace and try to stay away from stress when you're trying to build your immune system because stress actually lowers the immune system a lot of people don't know that but being stressed out and being like super chaotic actually makes your immune system go down faster than a lot of things so when it comes to stress try to either stay away from it or try to um meditate like just try to like really keep yourself in a state of peace so that your stomach is not your immune system is not compromised and your immune system is not taken over by stress and is working so hard to keep you calm so it can't fight off things that are, are trying to attack the body the first thing that starts to like feel weird is your stomach because you're literally like a lot of people carry stress in their stomach i'm one of those people to where when i'm stressed out i cannot eat and my stomach is the first thing to notice that like I'm going through some things. So keep stress low and try to stay in a um, state of peace. Hopefully this video helped some of you out there who was wondering what herbs should I even pick up at this time or what herbs should I pick up to boost up my immune system and hopefully this helped you so if it did give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section what you guys would see like to see more on my channel um any type of videos that you would like for me to elaborate more on let me know down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye